Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem seven in chapter thirteen. Chapter thirteen is about fluids. In this case, we can see the earth can be covered in three parts, three layers, right? So for each layer, the density is given and the radius is also given. So in this case, we should find the average density for the entire earth. So one way to find the entire earth, we need to find the total mass divided by total volumes. And for each case, the density is given, so we need to find the volumes. So for volumes, you can see radius is given, so the volume for V1, this part, is just uh, this equation, right? And the second layer is this uh, orange part. You can use this uh, orange part as R2 cube minus R1 cube. And also the V3 is used R3 cube minus R2 cube. And then in this case, we input the equations for V1, V2, V3 inside. And then we simplify it, we can get the function. Look at this one, input the known quantities, get find also there. The B part is tell you the radius of the earth is given, and the mass is given. Can you find the density for the earth? Yes, because you can see the R is given, the average radius, and the mass is given. So for density, in this case, just use mass divided by volumes. So these volumes can be three, 4 over 3 pi r cube. I input the known quantities, we get answer is there. Now we need to find the difference, right? The percent difference between A and B. So percent difference between A and B, we use the density for B minus density for A divided by density for A, we get it. It's just a 0.3% difference. Thank you.